What's up, you guys? It's your girl Mo Christine. On today's episode of Kicking It with Mo, we've got Keisha. Hey. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm excited. Now, I saw you on Instagram. Someone referred me to you. You are well known in the city. But for those who may be living under a rock, tell them about yourself. Um, I'm a hip hop artist. I'm an MC, songwriter, educator. So I teach hip hop. I teach about the history of hip hop, songwriting, and hip hop. Um, but yeah, I was recently in a group called The Sorority. Now I'm just, you know, kind of doing my solo stuff again, songwriting and yeah, I'm just just moving, moving through through life. You are hustling. Yes. Hustling. Hustling. We got female hustler, female <laughs> sneakerheads. Love getting female sneakerheads on the show. I mean, I love my fellas too, but you know, it's always something different when we have a female sneakerhead. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All right. So should we let me know when and how you got into sneakers when did that love grow okay it's it was two different time periods in my life um growing up being the youngest girl i had two older brothers i was the baby the only girl so i'd get my my middle brother's hand-me-downs mm. and you know it would be like filas and jordans i remember when i was first born i was born in 93 right so that year was the year of the Jordan 8. That's when the Jordan 8 came out. And I have a baby picture of me literally in the Jordan 8s, you know. So my mom kept us fresh from when we were kids. So, you know, then as a child, we always wanted the newest, hottest sneakers. My brothers, we were all into basketball. We saw what the players were wearing. We wanted the Grant Hill feel. Like, we always wanted shoes, right? And then, you know, then you get older, you kind of move on to other things, Barbies and whatever, whatever. And then I would say when I maybe turn... 14, 15, and I started doing music and actually getting out there in the music industry. Um, I would be gifted clothes. I'd be gifted, you know, stuff to wear for photo shoots and video shoots and um, just getting sneakers and stuff. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. So my collection started to build again from there and uh, I haven't stopped since then. So Dang. two times, two different Dang. times. I mean, so when that started, so now, how many pairs can you say that you have? So I actually just did my inventory on Monday. Inventory? Um, yeah, <laughs> I just did it on Monday. And I try to keep my my collection between 160 to one, to 200. So I had about 211, so I, get, I, I, I was getting rid of stuff, stuff I don't wear anymore, stuff I have doubles. I had like three pairs of the same Converse. You know, like you don't need these things. So. I decided to put them in some garbage bags. Um, my mom likes to give them to Goodwill, to Value Village, to different sneaker charities and stuff. So every year I try to purge at least 30 shoes. So I'm back to about 185, 190 now. So yeah, that's where I'm at. She tries to keep it between 160 and 200. We gotta keep it humble. <laughs> I try to keep mine between five and 10. Like I'm just struggling here. <laughs> what size do you wear? Me, I wear size eight men, nine and a half women. I was gonna try to. Again. <laughs> I'm gonna try to say, send them over here. Too small, but, uh, too big. No. Too big. Oh. We're size eight women. Oh, geez. but I mean, it's better to be too big than too small. Than too right? small, eh? Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, so with that many pairs, how much have you spent? Can you say overall on kicks? I can't, and you know, it's it's because it's it's difficult because when you average it out, I mean. I've been buying shoes again since I, I, I've been working since I was 15 years old. So I've been buying shoes since I've been working. You know what I mean? So I, I can't recall and I give so many away. I, it's hard to say, but it's in like, it's in like five figures around in the past six, six years, about five. And you know, it's, 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 a, it's, you know, my mom always says to people, I would prefer my daughter buying sneakers than other things that she could be buying. So, that's true. you know, that's a good habit, I'd say. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. That is a good way to put it. So, yeah. okay, five figures, that's a lot, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. But it's worth it. I mean, I think a lot of them are worth more, obviously, than what I paid. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the investment is going to pay off, but yeah. True. So, yeah. with you, you said you give some away. Yes. Do you plan on, or do you ever, like, resell them? I'm not big on reselling. I have too many little cousins to resell shoes. I always, I give my little cousin shoes all the, like the other day I was in Atlanta and I took two pairs of shoes. I took some, the 72 and 10 11s and I took the, um, 
metallic black fives to my little cousin. I had never, both of them unworn, never wore them. And I took them for her because I had them sitting in my closet for, you know, four or five years now. There's no point. So I have too many little cousins to resell. I'd just rather give it to them. Yeah. I could be a little cousin too. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's get into the kicking it, the kick talk. The three questions that I ask everyone. Dope. What are your top three go-to pairs? I brought them. Good. We love when, we, when they bring I them. I brought them. So these aren't necessarily my go-to because I've only worn one of them. However, these are my top three in my collection. Okay. Like these are my, they're like in a glass case that I keep okay. up. Let's so. See them. Let's see them. Woo! Okay. We're looking at the these. Right. These are the cloud dunks. I guarantee you don't know anyone that has this shoe. No. That's a guarantee that I'm making to you. Um, so it was Labor Day weekend 2015. I was in New York. I went to Flight Club with my little cousin. And I went in, I saw these um, foam posits that I wanted. So I picked up the foam posits, I went, I checked out, boom, boom, boom. Canadian debit card, there's always some problems, but it worked out, everything was cool. And then as I'm leaving, I turned to my right and I saw the wall of dunks and I saw these. And I said, yo, I gotta get those instead. Oh my God. So I actually turned back, I went, I begged them to exchange it. The manager was like, listen, she didn't leave the store, it's okay, like, let's do the exchange. I ended up exchanging it for these shoes. These shoes right now are worth about $5,000. Um, it's it's a rare shoe like you it's not you can't find it everywhere but I got this from Flight Club New York so yeah these are I haven't worn them yet I don't I just keep them <laughs> you know I love them though I used to call them the nothing was the same dunks because they look like Drake's <laughs> album cover I love them they're fresh all right that was number one that was number one number two let's see number two um, I'm obviously a hip-hop artist huge rap fan a huge fan of you know conscious rap old school rap De La Soul, Dunk Highs. Um, the shoe is just beautiful. Um, I'm, I was never a fan of the, the green and brown variation to this uh, shoe, the low or the high, but I was definitely a fan of the, the, the lighter one, the white one with the yellow. It just looks so dope. So I had, to, um, I had to grab those, and I actually got those for retail. Ooh. Yeah, I got those for retail before the Dunk Hype, so yeah. So how much do you think they're worth now? Uh, I checked on um, StockX and I think they're about, for my size, about five, 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 five sixty-five around there. Five sixty-five, just five hundred sixty. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna yeah. say five. No, 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 no. Okay. No. About five hundred sixty-five for those now. So they, they went up significantly, but I, I got them for, for wow, retail. So. Damn. All right, that's number two. And then these, um, this was the first sneaker that I bought with my very first credit card. This was the first purchase I made on my credit card when I turned eighteen. Um, these actually came out the year that I turned 18. Um, they retro the year I turned 18. Um, these are the nines. I call them the Space Jam nines because this was a shoe in the movie Space Jam that Michael Jordan sent Bugs Bunny and Daffy to get and this is what they got and brought back for him. So uh, this is my favorite Jordan of all time. Um, I'm not a, like the nines aren't necessarily my favorite silhouette, but this particular shoe I used to watch Space Jam maybe every day after school when I was a kid. That movie really means a lot to me. And because this was the first sneaker that I really saw in a movie that was like, oh my gosh, like I need a pair. Being able to be an adult and then get a pair, I had to. So um, yeah, it just all worked out and I was able to get a pair of these. And yeah, it's my favorite shoe. Beauty, beauty. Can't go wrong with some nines. I got some nines too and I love them. So good. And I love how you have a story for each one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the biggest things for me is most of my sneakers and my sneaker purchases have a story. Um, I travel a lot, so whenever I go to a different country or a different state or you know province, wherever I buy a sneaker or and a vinyl. So like, I always because I have a huge vinyl collection as well. There has to be a story attached. Um, these days, you know, we're all in the house quarantining. I'm just buying shoes that I like, whatever. But most times, I buy sneakers on a, on my travels, you know, to remember, to have a story. So a lot of my sneakers have stories. Love it, love it. Okay, so now that we got the top three down, what are some past releases that you wish you caught? I wish I caught the Guava Union Force. Okay. Um, I wish I caught those. Mm -hmm. um, right immediately, I'm regretting not getting the Georgetown 3s, but I'll probably pick those up sometime this week. I heard they're still in stores around Toronto, so. This week, okay. 
I'll probably grab them because now that I'm watching people open their boxes and actually wearing them, I'm like, oh, those shoes are dope. I'm mad I didn't try to get them. Yeah. And something that I, I regret not getting. Oh, that's a tough one. I'd probably say I regret not keeping the band Jordan ones or the bread toe ones. I had them and uh, I got rid of them. Why? I also had the Shattered Backboard 2.0s and the UNC ones, the OG UNC ones, yeah. and, I, and I got rid of them. So I kind of regret that. Why? Because one, they were a little bit too small. They were a half size too small for me. And two, at the time, I just wanted to spend money on other things. So I sold them for like, not like what, what they're worth now. They're, I think the UNCs are like $900. I sold them for like 200. So I'm really regretting it. But at the time, there was a lot of things that I wanted to do with my money instead. So, you know, I, I, don't, re I, like, I don't regret it for that reason. Like, it made sense, yeah. but I got to get those back at some point in my life. So, I mean, yeah. I'm sure you'll get them. Yeah. You'll get them. Jordan right. retros all the time. So, people out there, you know, clubs. Okay. I'll let, I'll let you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are there any um, upcoming releases that you plan on getting? I've been looking at the maroon. Um, they're the Maroon Dunks Highs. Uh, this is the year of the Dunks, as everyone knows. Every week there's a new Dunk. And so I've just been grabbing grabbing the ones that I like. I recently picked up the Maze, the Michigan, um, the Wolverine Michigan's ones. I picked up the Syracuse, the UNLVs. So I'm just I'm just grabbing Dunks left, right, and center. Right now, I'm actually waiting on a, on, on a shoe. That was a gift that was given to me uh, by my partner. And it's, it was the actually the, uh, the biohacks. So that was one of my coveted shoes last year that I didn't get. So, you know, I got a little spoiled this year, but um, yeah, I mean, I, looking forward to, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'd probably say the 11, the cool gray 11s that are coming out at the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, for Everyone's sure. Everyone's going for those. Yeah, the cool gray 11s. I, I missed them when they dropped a couple years ago. I saw my homegirl, Dakota White, shout out to Dakota. She had them on. And I was like, yo, I want those. So <laughs> this year I'm gonna get them for sure. The thing is right now, you're making it sound like it's so easy to get these pairs. Oh because no. Because you just listed off a whole, you're like, I got this, I got this. And I'm here struggling. It's not, it's not easy to get any pair of shoes, but the thing is I'm at a point in my life where I'm not fighting with any bots. I'm not fighting with, you know, people to get these shoes. Because I want them, I'm gonna spend that extra money to be able to secure them resale or yeah. just get them however I can. Um, you know, I used to have my connects at various, you know, shoe places that no, are no longer. So I, I, I just don't want to have a bone in this fight no more. It's, yeah. a, it's stressful. It's, a lot. it's stressful, it's a lot. you know, trying to get shoes these days. But if I want them, I'm going to probably get them. She's going to get them. Yeah. So check her out on her page. See what she got. I saw you did like you did like an unboxing video. Yeah, really it's my new like little that. series and it's been going well yesterday. Like typically the videos get around 2K, 2.5K. Yesterday in like seven or eight hours, it, it got like 2.8. Now it's at over three. So they're climbing and it's just about being consistent, you know, with the content. But anytime I get a sneaker now, I just do an unboxing video. Like my, my followers love it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's great content. So my manager's always like, keep doing that. That's, yeah. that's getting you traction. So um, yeah, it's just fun. Something cool, it's fun to do. So yes. yeah. Keep it up, we love watching. One more question that I always ask. When you're going out, it's time to choose an outfit. Are you choosing the shoes first or the outfit first? It will always be the sneakers. I'll always know what I'm wearing on my feet before I know what I'm, I buy clothes around sneakers. Like everything is always about the shoe for me. Mm -hmm. um, whenever I, like when I was in the dating scene, I used to meet a guy and be like, I look at his shoes first. It's always shoes first for me. So. Um, and that's just how I've always been. Even when it's time to dress up and wear a heel, it's what, okay, I know what heel I'm wearing. What am I gonna build around it? So, that's yeah, true. I start from the bottom up. Oh, there. Well, there you have it. You kicked it with Mo. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming out. No, this is great, yeah. And before we leave, do you wanna, you know, let the people know what's upcoming for you? Absolutely, you know? yeah, no, 100%. So, um, check out the piece I did with T TSN. It was a piece Black History on Black History, Angela James, um, who was, they call her the Canadian Wayne Gretzky, but I like to say that she's just, you know, Canada's 
greatest, one of Canada's greatest hockey players of all time, um, who just happens to be a female. Um, she, her story is super inspiring and I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to be able to tell it. Um, so you can check that out, follow me on social media, definitely. Um, Kenny Parker Apparel, shout out to them for the bag. You know, I use it to carry around my kick, so appreciate that. We love that. Um, my, yeah, my social media, Free Keisha, so F-R-E-E-K-E-Y-S-H-A. Um, you can just, you know, check me out there. SoundCloud, whatever, Keisha Fresh, Fresh with two H's. And yeah, that's, that's where I'm at, that's what I'm doing. So yeah. yeah. All right, girl, keep up the hustle. Nah, thank you. Thank you so much once again. I appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Kicking It With Peace. Folks. Did you enjoy that episode? Well, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.